Hi everyone, this is Louise from 805 Soap, and today we're going to be doing a melt and pour. Um, we're going to be working with uh, all natural ingredients, and as far as colorants go. We're not going to use micas. We're going to use um, turmeric, and turmeric is a seasoning that you can buy in the store. Um, it's sold in all the grocery stores in the seasoning aisle, and we're going to also add poppy seeds. And the reason why I buy these in the grocery store is because, like, this thing here has lasted me, like, I don't know, over a year. And for 2 or $3, it's definitely worth it to buy it at the grocery store versus buying it as soap supplies. So I try to buy as much, uh, as many supplies as possible locally so I don't get charged for freight. But somebody had asked me on um, YouTube to make a video of something made from turmeric and poppy seeds. So today I'm working with a clear base, and what I did was I took the base, which is right here. My base comes in logs. So what I did was I took the base, whether it comes in a log or a 25 pound or a two pound, you take the base and you chop it up into little one inch cubes or whatever you want to do. And um, I measured it because my molds, I know I need about 11 to 12 ounces for these molds so I measure the molds first and I measure that amount because that's what I'm going to be making I don't like to make too much overage or shorting so I always measure my molds the way to measure a mold is very easy you take your mold and you fill the cavities up cavity up with water and then you pour the water into a measuring cup or put it on a scale and it'll tell you that it'll hold three ounces or four ounces or whatever um, that's the easiest way to, to measure mold. So if each one of these holds, let's say, 4 ounces, so it's 4, 8, 12. So there's 12 ounces here. So each mold holds 12 ounces. And uh, that way I don't have to have a lot of extra soap, and I'm not wasting soap that's colored, and I'm not pouring or throwing things away because waste is a factor in soaping. So you want to measure your mold first. Then you want to cut your cubes up. You can nuke this. I nuked the, the soap for probably, I don't know, a minute and 20, 30 seconds, just about 11 ounces, 12 ounces. And then we're going to be adding turmeric. Now turmeric is a powder, and I'm going to be real honest with you, I'm going to measure it out on a popsicle stick. This is very, very concentrated. And believe it or not, this is all I'm going to be using. Okay, do you see that? I mean, this is probably even a little bit too much, um, to be honest with you, but I'm going to use it. Um, it can be an irritant to some people, so you want to be careful because it is a seasoning. So, you know, just be careful with uh, things like cinnamon and paprika and things like that. It could irritate your skin if you use too much. And, um, you know, people can be allergic. It's not ingested. It's, being on the, it's laying on the skin, so... Just be careful when you start using it. And then I bought these little cheap plastic containers. I use them, all of my yellows and everything. So we're just gonna spray the alcohol in there. Sometimes with turmeric it will speckle, but most of the time it won't. So you just gotta be careful. So now you're gonna see this clear soap. I'm gonna take this turmeric and I'm gonna put it in here and you're gonna see how dark that was. Look at how dark it got. I mean like really quick, okay? And with any kind of natural ingredient, when you put it in soap, unfortunately, down the road, it's going to fade. I don't care what anybody says. Most, of, even in cold process, when I've used natural um, turmeric, any kind of natural thing, it ends up fading, okay? So they'll fade in time, but if you use them, I probably use too much because you see my spoon, it's yellow. It's got a yellow tinge on it. So I might have a little bit of, on the wash rag, when I, when, I, when I use this soap, I bet you I'll have a little bit of yellow. And that's basically how I can tell if a soap is going to bleed on a, on a wash rag is because it's gonna be, it's so yellow and it's, it's already staining this. So we added our turmeric, like I said, very, very little. It's a beautiful, rich color though. And then they wanted to add poppy seeds. The trick with poppy seeds, I mean, 
I don't go overboard. I go enough to make you see it and feel it on top of the soap. Poppy seeds are funny. They're just like anything. If you add them and the soap is really hot, what's going to happen is they're going to sink. But if you get this soap and you get yourself one of these handy dandy uh, infrared thermometers, you can take the temperature. And the lower the soap, like this soap right now is 139 degrees. The lower the soap, the better the suspension, which means the better it, the, the poppy seeds will float a little bit more instead of sinking to the bottom. And if you've poured things, you'll know what I'm saying is that, like if you ever poured like um, oatmeal, milk, and honey, excuse me, my dog's trying to get outside. Let me just open the door for her so she can go out there and bark. Go on, stop it. Um, so if you've ever used anything like oatmeal, milk, and honey, and the oatmeal sinks, it's because it, it was too hot, okay? But if you wait and cool it down and you see the suspension, what I do is I leave it inside and I'll, I'll make sure that if it's really sinking, that it, I know it's too hot, don't pour it because all of the poppy seeds will lay on the top. You want them some pretty much suspended. I like to pour between 130 and 135 and because it makes it um, suspend more. Even cooler, it'll suspend. Sometimes I don't have the patience. I really don't and I, <laughs> and I lose it. And I'm going to be adding a little bit of pear berry for the fragrance. So I'm just going to add a little bit. It's only 11 ounces. You don't need much. I mean a cap full is probably plenty for this little amount. It's not a lot of soap. So um, you're just going to stir until that gets to like, let's see, yeah, it's already down. It's already down to 132. You see how, how quickly it cools off? So what I do is I'm gonna get a mold, the mold that I showed you, and we're gonna mold this. So this is made with poppy seeds and turmeric with clear base, and this comes out beautifully yellow um, when you use a white base. So, um, Try turmeric in your soaps if you've never used it. It's, it's like a beautiful honey color, rich, rich honey color. And it looks fabulous. But if you put it in direct sunlight, when I was doing um, festivals, uh, what happens was a lot, it, it, it fades. And it was really a shame because I had quite a few soaps out there that faded because they had some natural colorants in it. But, and like I said, And then you take it and you spritz it with alcohol. Of course, my, my alcohol is huge, but I, I soap a lot, so that's why it's so big. But anyways, um, this is your turmeric soap. And by the magic of what I did is I made some yesterday, and here they are. Can you see them? They've got the poppy seeds in them. They really turned out cute. They're really pretty. And some of them is suspended. They're not all on the top. They're suspended inside, which is nice because as you use the bar, you'll have the little exfoliation of the, of the seeds in there. So um, this is what it looks like. And they smell wonderful. Pearberry is a, a, a nice fragrance. I don't know if anybody's used it or not, but um, yeah, it looks kind of like the Neutrogena bar. You know, a little bit darker, but it looks like the Neutrogena bar that they used to sell. So this is a way to make melt and pour with um, turmeric and poppy seeds. And I just thought I'd share that you can use natural ingredients and ingredients from the store. You don't always have to buy from a supplier. You know, paying shipping and things. Look in your local supermarket for poppy seeds and look for some turmeric. This turmeric will probably last me, outlive me. <laughs> there, there's so much in here that... I mean, it, it, the little, be very careful when you use this. It's very powerful, it's very colorful, it's very strong. Um, less is better with turmeric, but it makes a lovely bar of soap, and who wouldn't want that as a gift? I mean, it's just beautiful. So anyways, um, this is how I do it. Um, I hope I help some people out there, and uh, I hope everybody's doing well. 
and I'll talk to you later. Bye.